So today we're gonna play a little different game. Will it render? And I've already pulled some out of this to start melting down, but you can see here where we broke it up to let everything drain out of it that we could. And what we're left with is just a big old half ice chest of nothing but nasty old black cone. Yeah. Now, some of you probably saw my video of doing that B removal four floors up, 40 feet off the ground, where we opened up the cavity and almost every bit of comb that was in that colony was old dark comb that was years old, um, not any new fresh wax in there uh, to speak of. So we took all of it out. We got as much honey drained out of it as we could, which we're really probably not gonna eat it. It's not, first of all, it didn't taste good. Number two, uh, the bees can benefit from it more than we can anyway. We had to do something with that comb, right? And so it's either pitch it in the dumpster or turn around and see if we can render any usable beeswax out of it. There's a bunch of old nasty stuff, propolis, everything that's in it. Old, uh, you know, you got brood cocoons and that sort of stuff in there. So we're going to try and play a game of will it render, which leads us to this. So just a simple little burner set up here, an old pot that I had. And to start with, what we did is we filled it about halfway with water, which is important. And then inside we have what we will refer to as basically bee gumbo. So this nasty, gnarly stuff right here that uh, we put in that water just to get it to melt down. And once we get it all pretty much melted, then the next thing we're gonna do is strain this stuff into a five gallon bucket using some cheesecloth. You can, oh. Thankfully I'm doing this outside so you don't really get the smell associated with it. But as you can see here, this looks like something that uh, you might see in a, a horror film or witches making some sort of a nasty brew. So you'll notice that I switched to doing this at nighttime, and there is a reason for that. If I do this outside during the daytime still, and it's not like the middle of winter or something, a lot of the bees and the wasps in the area will get curious because it's sending all of that fragrance, that aroma of the honey, the propolis, all of that into the air. So it was attracting the bees and the wasps up to where I was working. Now they weren't doing anything to me, they weren't gonna hurt me, but what I found, unfortunately, is that a lot of the bees in particular, when all of that solution was still hot, would want to try and land on that solution. Of course, we don't want to harm the bees in the process of this. This kind of defeats the purpose. So it's better just to do it in the evening. The bees are already gone back to the hive, and so it just makes it easy to uh, keep the rest of the pests away while we're trying to melt down. The other important thing that I'll mention while I'm working on this is that it's important that you include plenty of water in your pot. So if you just try and melt the wax uh, by itself with all of that other sludge and stuff that's in there, you're just gonna end up mixing it all together, the propolis, the wax, all of it, it's gonna bind, and you're not gonna really be able to get the wax to separate. Uh, but at least half of what you have in the pot needs to be water. So the water will basically integrate with the wax. Those will then go through your filter pretty easily and all of the rest of that sludge should sit above whatever that filtration material is that you're using. Now that raises another question of what do you use when you're filtering? Some people will use old t-shirts. My personal experience is unless it's like a true thin 100% cotton shirt, most of the time when I've used shirts that have even just a hint of polyester or some other artificial material in there, is that it won't allow uh, the water and the wax to get through really easily it, and it just it takes forever to try and actually deal with it. Um, the thing that a lot of people will use, which I found works pretty well as well, is if you go get the actual um, paint filter bags that you can get at Home Depot and just paint filters that you would stick in a five gallon bucket. So just get some of those, they're not that expensive and you can reuse them. Um, you can boil them in some water after you use them and get some of the gunk off of them if you wanna prolong the life out of them. 
but you can actually just use those, put them in a five gallon bucket. I have just a little battery, uh, you know, one of the cinch cables you use on like a camper to hold the battery box closed. So I just have one of those that I put around to hold it in place so that when the wax and the sludge and all of that is coming into the bucket, it doesn't push the actual filter down into the bucket itself. Still got a big old tub of comb over here. Uh, but we're about to filter the first batch out of this bucket for today. It certainly takes a bit of work to do this, to boil. And you can see a lot of dark comb to go, to go through. Bubble, bubble, toil and trouble. But no, the answer is it does not smell particularly nice. Because it's hard to pour and video at the same time, but you'll see here that I've got my bucket set up with that strap holding that filter. You can hear it dripping down in there as everything kind of runs through and all of the other junk is left up top. The other thing that I'll typically do, you'll see over here, I've got another five gallon bucket and this one just has a contractor bag on the inside of it. And then I've also got well, now that my camera will focus in the dark over here, but I've got just a basic little pot or you can use a measuring cup or something. Um, but the purpose of that is this stuff, there will be a lot of residue on this old comb, this black stuff, the propolis, old brood, all of that sort of stuff that stays behind and that'll clog up your filter. So I keep that so that I can come through after most of this strains out and just scoop it all up put it in that bag, and then pour the next bit of this stuff in there for filtering. So this is the next night. You can see here that for the final straining, I am actually using a t-shirt. I had this down on the bucket there for a minute and uh, poured stuff in, and then when it got close to the top of that five gallon bucket, then I'm just lifting it and letting the rest of this trickle out. It looks a little dark right there. Uh, this wax is going to be a little bit more on the yellow side rather than the, the white side because it's not virgin wax. But anyway, ultimately the goal here, we did our first couple of filters, started with a dark comb, which you saw the other day. Uh, did a first couple of, of uh, sludge extractions on it, shoveled that stuff out. And then this time I basically had four discs from all of that other comb that we rendered down that I then melted with a good level of water this time too so that it could all be liquefied together and uh, then doing one additional strain to try and get any of the other remaining dirt and sludge and all that sort of stuff out of it to have the wax be as clean as it can be for what our intended purposes for it are. So next up I'll show you the, uh, the final filtered wax product that came from all that nasty dark comb. So I gave it time to cool and I tipped it out of uh, my five gallon bucket and then I wrapped it up in saran wrap just to just kind of take care of it and make sure between now and when the season begins next year that no pests or critters start chewing on it because it can have a bit more of a honey smell or a propolis smell to it. So this here is my final chunk of wax and I did weigh it just a minute ago and it came in at 11.4 so if I was to actually show you how big this is so you'll see here that it's a little over four inches tall and of course it's a five gallon bucket so 10 inches across so it's quite a bit of wax there so some of this we'll probably use to wax a few frames. Um, I'll probably clean a bit more of it for us to make a few small candles and maybe some lip balm.